guys, what's up? It's Wolfblade here, and I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. So, this is just a simple house Minecraft tutorial. Kind of got a medieval feel. Hope you enjoy. Alright. Goodness, it's dark. So, yeah. First, you're gonna want to grab some cobblestone like I just did a second ago. And, uh, I'm trying to find night vision right now because it's so flippin' dark. <laughs> Alright. Let's get that done, and now I can see. Alright, so first you're going to put one cobblestone block right here. And then you're going to move one space and place another there. And then you go one, two, three, diagonal. And then one, two, three, long. Alright, just I'm just going to measure this out real quick just to make sure it's all correct. Yep, that's right. All right, so let's see. Gotta make sure it matches up with the other side. So one, two, three diagonal on the other side, and then one, two, three, long. And then you're gonna go one, two, three, oh, three diagonal. And then, no, one, two, three, diagonal again. And then one, two, three, long. And just see how it mirrors each other. And now we're going to go up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then one, two, three. Just double checking to make sure it's right. All right. Now I'm going to speed it up. See you guys in a second. Okay, now we're gonna dig out the ground real quick. So yeah, just to let you guys know. See you in a second. All right, now that you're done taking out the floor, you're gonna wanna grab oak planks. Now let's get through this. Oh, <laughs> hi guys, what's up? Sorry about my friends. They just want to be in my video. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> and then you're going to go out. And then you're going to want to cover the roof like that. Oh no. <laughs> Disaster shucks again. <laughs> Alright. Now you're going to fill out the roof. And it's going to be sped up right here. And oh. So you're going to leave one hole right there and there. So we can climb up the ladders. Because it's... An archer tower ish yeah there you go get those ladders and then you're gonna put them all the way up oh wait actually so after recording this I realized I did that top part wrong it will show that I break them later and put down a trap door all right I'll see you guys when I get to the roof Okay, um, so now you're going to want to grab a spruce door and you're going to put it at the front to give it that kind of medieval feel. Now we're going to work on the top, um, the top floor, which is, it's not, it's going to be open basically. So, because it's going to give you that archer feel. So, see you in a second. Just go over the other cobblestone by one layer.
Now, really quick, you're going to want to grab a bow. Um, well, two bows, 64 arrows each, two stacks. And then you're going to want to grab a crossbow and two shields. Well, two crossbows. And then you're going to put two chests on the left and right sides of the building. And you're just going to put one chest full of um, the weapons, so the bow and the crossbow. And then the other chest with shields. Now you're going to grab some leather armor. I just did leather armor because I just feel like it's more medieval and archers don't really need the best kind of armor. They're more defending, so I don't think they'll get hit a lot because, well, they have those pillars. So yeah, there you go. Okay. So now we're just going to do the interior design. So what I did is I took a couple p torches and just put them certain places. So just, you don't have to copy my spots, but I think this gives enough lighting without the torches being too cluttered. So there you go. So just put them on like every other kind of wall, if that makes sense. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, put it right there and there. And... Now we're just going to grab a few things. I'm going to teach you how to make a bunk bed. See, I just used blue because that's my favorite color. Well, that kind of blue, basically. So you're going to grab one bed, put that bed down on the floor. And then you're going to go grab some wooden slabs. And then you're going to put them up there. And then you're going to put more of uh, the bed on top of there. And then you're going to put some ladders up. So, I don't know if this works in the old Minecraft, but I think in this one, it will only work here. So, I don't know how to make a, be a bunk bed in other versions of Minecraft, besides this one. So, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to grab some things. I couldn't decide on what I should decorate with, so I grabbed um, a shulker, shulker, bo shulker, shulk, shulker box. Hope you know what I'm saying there. And I just put two over there. I just did my favorite color. Because um, I think they're more fun than chests. Because they're just more colorful. And then I place down a crafting table over there. Now, I usually, for tables, like side tables, I just grab little slabs. So I just grabbed another oats slab. See, for the interior design, this is just what I do. You do not have to do this. You can do whatever you want. So, yeah. But... I just thought I'd include a voiceover for this part just to help out if you wanted to do my kind of design for it. Oh, <laughs> hey Avery. So, I just put a brewing stand there because I just thought it looked cool for the counter. And then I'm going to place down an armor stand. So, the thing about armor stands I like is you can de decorate them anywhere you want, really, with like limited being armor and top things so i usually like to go with monster heads and like armor and then give them a sword i usually do poses but i think the spot the armor stand with in shouldn't really have a pose it just should stand there like with the first pose so i decided to go with the creeper head because i just wanted the armor stand to be threatening and creepers are like i think to me one of the scariest basic mobs if that makes sense in minecraft and I just like decorated a few dragon breath things there because I like dragons and I thought the potion looked cool so I just wanted to put it up there. And right here, I'm making a trash can that actually works. And so, so what do you want to do? You're going to grab a lava bucket, put it only one down there, and then you're going to put a trap door over it. But just make sure the lava's two levels down so it doesn't burn the oak flooring. And then you're going to go down and put cobblestone all around it. Just like this. And then you're going to go up, put the trap door back on. And yeah, there you go. There's the, your fully functional trash can. And the next thing is, I just put an item frame to put a clock there. Just, I don't know, for fun. Like if you wanted to have a clock on the side of your room. So yeah. Next up, I couldn't decide if I wanted to put a painting anywhere. Because... The, sp the ones they were giving me in the certain spots. I didn't really like them, so here's just me being indecisive. So it, it will go by quick. Just give it a second. 
Oh, hey, my friend joined the game. And now you're going to want to put that, but you're going to want to get the chain because it's more fun to bring it down. So you're, gonna, you're not going to want to go two levels down. That's too low. Just go one chain down and just place it like that. And there you go. There's your new medieval house. Now, let's go outside, just like, see how it looks. So, it's raining. That's pretty cool. And right here, I just, like, put torch. I was trying to decide if I should put torches out here, so I just put it on the top two pillars. And so, yeah, there's your medieval house. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving, and I'm so thankful to have you all as viewers. So have a wonderful day, and thanks for my cousin, Laser Fox, for recommending this video. Peace out, guys.